Hey, it's Terry with the Covered Chipboard, and I'm here with an unboxing video of some Cricut items that I just got. Um, they've had some really new additions that I'm really excited to try out and see how they work. So, I'm going to kind of try to sneak these out without you seeing, which might be kind of hard, but we'll try it. So, the first thing I got was this removable mat. Uh, finish premium vinyl it says it lies flat easy to weed and apply removes without residue so that'll be fun to try and see how it works it's called the nature walk basic sampler and there is a uh, kind of a leaf pattern and then a geometric black and white and another geometric and you get there's three patterns and you get two sheets of each pattern and the sheets are 12 by 12. So that'll be fun to try. I'll hold this up. Maybe you can see the patterns a little better. And then the next one I got was, it's the same material, the, the matte finish removable premium vinyl. This is the Rustic Lodge Lumberjack Sampler. See if you can see all those. It's got like a um, black and red plaid, and then this black with the white stripes right here actually looks like the bark of a tree. It's a really neat pattern, and this is just like a, a crosshatch white with gray. And then I got four colors, I think it was. Let me get all these over here. Yeah. Yeah, four colors. This is the removable mat, um, same thing, premium vinyl, and some new colors. And the first one here is Blue Sage. And it almost has kind of a, a, a shiny, I think, but it may not look like that once I get the paper off. Pardon my sniffles, Let's see if you can see that. Maybe get more light on the color. It's really pretty blue. Um, and then this one is coral, which is going to be pretty. And this one is mustard. And this one is, I believe, lemongrass. I love the lemongrass. These are going to be really pretty, and I have a teal to mix with these. I'm going to do some things for my office, so those will be cute. And then I got some of their fabric. Uh, this is fusible fabric. It comes in fat six. Each piece is 12 by 21, and there's four pieces in a row. And this is called, it doesn't say name on here, but it's their Halloween. So maybe you can see this. There's a purple and a green and white polka dot it, a black, and an orange with kind of circles on it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'll figure out something for Halloween. Probably pretty quick since we're not that far off. And then I got three rolls of this. It's the same thing, the um, fusible fabric and fat sticks. And this is their holidays. And it comes with a red and white stripe, uh, kind of a mo mottled brown a mottled red, and a green and white polka dot. So I'm going to do some banners, I think, with these. Um, I'm not sure what else yet. Maybe some uh, tree ornaments. That would be cute. Stuff them. That'd be really cute. So we'll, we'll see. And then I got some paper. Oh, I got the snivels today. I love their deluxe paper. I'm going to open this with my Cricut True Control knife, which I'm loving. And I, I normally when I open these packages, I only pull the tape off this end. I leave the ones on the sides because then I can store it upright like this and just pull the paper out of the top because they're not connected to anything. So it makes it stay real nice. This one, I need to get this tape off of here if I can. Off the front. I'll 
turn it back under one of the two. Let's see. See if you can see this. It's a pretty flower. You get two sheets of each color, and there are five colors, and they're 12 by 12. So it's 10 sheets in a package. I just think that's really cute. And I love the dot. Let's see. The dot has a lighter blue on the background. Some little flowers. Those are cute. A pretty kind of pinkish red. And then the green vines. Those are pretty. And those have a green on the back. And then this is kind of just like a floral pattern. Monochrome. Let's see if I can put that down there. So that'll be cute. I'm excited to use that. Oh gosh, excuse me. And this is the Deluxe Peonies. Um, I used this the other day on my box that I made. And I liked it so much that I wanted to get some more of it. And it has the peonies with a pretty pink dot on the back. It's a pretty blue pattern. With the yellow stripes in the back, which I like a whole lot too. And then this kind of a diamond shape pattern, which is cute. And I love this green. Me and my lime green. And I thought this is really pretty too. I have, um, sheets of this left from when I did my box and I want to do a journal with this. So there's a blue kind of woven looking pattern and I like this a lot too, the blue and white kind of floral print and it's got a solid kind of greeny on the back and that's all the colors on that. I think, no, there's one more. Uh, green check or plaid, which I liked. And kind of a pink model. So it's got some really pretty colors in it and some really nice uh, patterns. And then for Halloween, orange cardstock. And I really like Cricut's cardstock. Uh, I like the texture on it and the weight is good. It cuts great. I just, in it does pretty good for 3D projects. So I'm real impressed with, with their. Uh, cardstock and I've been trying to kind of build my colors up so when I buy it I normally buy it in the bulk in one color and that's it for the box let me show all this back in here for right now until I find a place to store it I think I need a bigger office I'm running out of room already not good I won't tell my husband that. Okay, hang on just a second. And lastly, I got the new rotary cutting kit. It's a, a mat, a large ruler, and your rotary tool. So I'm going to see if I can get this open. I think this just kind of slides out, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, let's see. No, I guess I'm going to have to open it on the edges over here. And I'll lose a fingernail if I do that. So, I'm going to use my scissors. In the color pretty? I like the blue. So, I'm going to pull the mat out. Oh. Feels like a pretty good grade mat. And it is self-healing. Ouch. And I love the big size. Now, I'm probably not going to leave this on this desk. It's probably going to go on my other desk. On the back, it's a pretty gray. So we'll see whether it winds up here or over there. But. <clears throat> and I don't know, in the past, with self-healing mats... Once they had a lot of cuts on them, you're supposed to put them in the in a bathtub of water, and it's supposed to um, help them heal themselves. Because what happens is, after time, they dry out, 
and they don't they're not as pliable and so I think when that happens the where you've cut they don't seal themselves back up but somebody said this mat won't do that so we'll see over time what happens let's see if I can get this out my scissors again now this is pretty much designed for um, uh, fabric use but I don't do that much fabric so I don't know but I use it for all I use a cutting mat for all kinds of stuff ah doesn't want to come out there we go and that's why this ruler is so big. It's meant for cutting fabric. <clears throat> so, eventually I will use this. I just probably won't use it that long. Um, so we'll see. And this does come with a, when you get it, there is a, uh, I'm thinking, it looks like there's a, well, you can tell right here, it's got a, a cover on it, so you'll need to take the cover off before you go to use it. And then the tool, ah. the tool is just a rotary cutter. I've used these in the past. I used to cut everything with a rotary tool because it's just so easy and it's virtually impossible to cut yourself with one. There we go. Now, the ones I've used in the past did come with a uh, cover to slide over the top. This does not have a cover that slides over the top, but there is a raised up groove. Maybe you can see it. See the edges right here where it's showing a, kind of a dark gray color? That is a protective um, piece that keeps you from cutting your fingers. And I'm guessing, yeah, push the button down and pull it towards you. Now you can see that the cover has been removed. I'll do it from this side. Oh, I imagine you have to push this button. And it pops right back out. Now you can see the gray. So push down, pull towards you. It's ready to use. Push the blue button. That closes it back up. Keeps you from cutting yourself. And uh, to change the blades on these, it's really simple. You just unscrew this. The blade pops out. You're good to go. Put a new one in. So it looks like pretty good quality. It's, it's nice and weighty, but not heavy. So I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of that. So that's it. That's my unboxing video for today. Um, thank you for joining. And check these out. This whole set is like $69.99 um, on sale right now on Cricut.com. It's a really good buy. And uh, it will, I don't know how long it's going to be on sale for. But uh, that's, that's a good price. I normally pay that much just for a mat for a good self-healing mat, so, you know, and these are normally, if you go buy these, not Cricut brand, but from somebody else, they're, you know, gosh, it's been so long since I bought one, I think my last one I paid almost $20 for it, so, you know, for what I normally pay for a mat, I'm getting the ruler and the tool for free, so check it out at Cricut.com, I'll have links on my, um, in the notes on the video, with links to everything I got today and I've showed you. So have a good time. Uh, have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.